All right, we move on to the next game, and that is the 1 o'clock Eastern showdown in Baltimore between the Browns and the Ravens. And the Ravens have won their last two home games against good teams, 38-6 to and then 37-3. to I think that combines to 75-9. to That's pretty good. The Browns come in with Deshaun Watson back under center. The Ravens are favored by six with an over-under of 38. Chris, do the Ravens complete the sweep? Remember, back in week four, Baltimore beat the Browns with Dorian Thompson-Robinson at quarterback 27-3. to Who do you like in this one? I, I, you know, I'm going with the, the Ravens. I mean, the, the Ravens are the hottest team in the game right now, like you just said. Uh, I, I love the Cleveland defense. I'm in awe of it. I like the Baltimore Ravens defense even more let alone the Ravens have what, the number six offense in football? I mean, the Ravens are real. They are. Now, I think the Bengals are re- – I mean, the Browns are real too. Excuse me. I do. But I just don't trust the Browns' offense yet. That And, and there's potential for me to trust it and say, wow, right? We know they can run the ball. They're one of the best screen teams in all of the NFL. Every week I watch and I go, man, Stefanski and them have so many good creative ways you know, to screw over a defense with passes behind the line of scrimmage. They're great in that department, but it's in Baltimore. It's on the road. I don't think Deshaun is hitting on all cylinders yet. How could he be? You know, last week was kind of like, ooh, some impressive throws, and then also some, uh, eh, damn, it looks like he hasn't played football in a little bit, right? So I, I think we're going to be in a defensive struggle, uh, but ultimately I'm going with the Ravens. I'm going to pick them to win this game 21-13. to I got 24-13, and I've got a lot of the same thoughts that you do. Deshaun Watson maybe is rounding into the kind of guy they need him to be, but the shoulder injury derailed the season, and I just think it's too much to ask him to go into Baltimore. What a difference the Browns are going to see this week from the hapless, shiftless Cardinals who averaged less than one yard per minute of clock time, 58 yards in a 60-minute game. Are you kidding me? What a difference it's going to be this week for the Browns to go into Baltimore and see this Ravens team that already beat them 27 to three without Deshaun Watson. But still, the Browns have to prove it to me before I'm going to believe they can win on the road against a team like this. The Ravens are looking great right now, and we know that they're prone to step in a pothole from time to time. We've seen it over the years. It could happen but I'm not ready to put my non-money no. where my mouth is. I've got the Ravens 24-13. to 13. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the what the f- happen podcast we're gonna get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week and then thursday i'm picking games with that jerk florio so you know where to find us homies keep watching peace out we'll see you